I'm in VR. <laughs> uh, I chose this character because it's closest thing to my OC that I wanted to make into a uh, protogen. So yeah, I like it. It's cute. Uh, reality, I'm not really sure what to talk about because my channel is mostly about you know drawing and creatures of scenario. But actually, yeah, so let's talk about that. One of the creators called Zan created a avatar for Oculus and for computer and whatever other device you can play. Uh. Uh, VR chat. So he created an avatar, and I saved it right here. Let's scroll up to it. It's still what the where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm still pulling this little fella right here. It's pretty big. I got him. It's really tall. There is a few wonky features on it, like as you can see, if you look at the feet, look at the feet right there. Uh. One of its toes, right now you can't see it, but when there was other people in the server, this toe and that other toe, both of them were wonky. It looks like it's a little bit fixed, or he fixed it recently, because it was floating off. Uh, I also gotta say, this neck floof, it just doesn't work. This part of the floof just has to come off. Or has to be changed, as you can see, it does limit your view, which is not good at all. I don't like it. Uh, anyways, the rest of it is pretty cool. Uh, let's go here. Better view it, as you can see. What I do? Yeah, right here's not showing, but the toe was floating off. But I was looking at other people's. Pretty cool. I really like the design. You can, if you hold Y, you can take off the little female tail bits if you don't want it. And of course, I'm gonna keep it on. So I believe they should remove this floof or make it smaller or something. Cause look, just can't see nothing through it. And I don't like that. Also, they are missing that little eye bit. You know, that goes right there with pupil. It's just the yellow and orangey part. So I do like it. They did a great job for sure. Uh, there's no emotes or anything. Not yet at least. I'm guessing they're going to add it later on. No facial expressions. Which makes sense. In the game they don't have any facial expressions. Not even blinking or anything. But I still like it. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing the toe thing, the little toe beans were just glitching for a second. Anyways. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. It's a little weird right here, having all this floof in the neck. We'll see if we decide to make it a female. Kind of makes it look more like a male. Like, they should just put the floof here. Uh, yeah, up to, yeah, up to there. Let's make it slightly floofier. But remove this neck floof. And make this part of floof. Yeah, this is the floof right here. I don't know if you can guys can barely see it. This floof right here is what's blocking my view. Which is a struggle. I was actually trying to play ski ball in VR. I could barely play because the hair kept getting in my way. So yeah, floof has to shrink. Or something has to be changed. But still, looks awesome. I like it. Uh, I still wouldn't play as it because, you know, a little wonky. Uh, I will leave a link to the world. But if you can't go on your computer to play it, you know, to save it, uh, just turn on labs, like community labs on your settings. And just write Z Zans. And it will instantly pop up. Uh, the world is called Zans. Uh, Avatars. X-A-N. The little floating comma. And S. Just put that. And it will just appear. It's like an empty looking world. Go in and you can just click on the avatar and that's it. 
Anyways, that's all. That's my first VR video. Let's see how well my audio is. It's probably terrible. Bet. <laughs>